Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here with your mismatch Monday. I know we've uh, taken a little hiatus. There was a week off, maybe two, but I think there was at least one. One week off from mismatch Monday. But uh, today, this Monday, we're going to do it with the computer game we are not going to do it card and dice and uh what we're going to do is we're going to go to the 1982 national league and as you can see here the st louis cardinals were 92 and 70 and they're going to take on the new york mets and the new york mets were 65 and 97 and in a slight divergence from my regular mo for these games the home team is going to be the better team. And it's so St. Louis will be the home team. And I am going to take the Mets in this game. So let's go to, um, uh, let's see. New unscheduled. And uh, 1982 National League. Where is that? 1982 National League. And the visiting team is us, the Mets. And I, I'll put it in here. I'll put in that it's going to be me, but um, it's probably going to change it. Uh, but go with 1982 National League. St. Louis Cardinals. We'll make this a June day, and of course we're going to make it during the day. I love day games. I don't like doing night games. Um, and no, it kept me as a human. That's good. So we got Craig Swan. It's listing us as having Craig Swan going, and I'm fine with that. And he's going to have Joaquin Andhar, and I'm assuming he's fine with that. Our lineup will be Mookie Wilson in center field. Ron Gardenhire, the former um, Twins and Detroit Tiger manager at shortstop batting second. John Stearns will bat third and be the catcher. Dave Kingman is going to be at first base. George Foster in left. Wally Backman at second base. Rusty Staub in right. Hubie Brooks at third base and... Batting in the ninth spot and pitching Craig Swan. For the Cardinals, he'll have Tommy Hur at second base leading off. The Wizard, Ozzy Smith, to the shortstop, will bat second. Lonnie Smith, his brother, no, not really, uh, will bat third and be the left fielder. George Hendrick will play right field and be the cleanup hitter. Keith Hernandez, the current Mets announcer, at least I think he still is, Daryl Porter will be the catcher and bat sixth. Willie McGee in center field is going to bat seventh. Ken Obertfell, the third baseman, batting eighth. And Miguel, or uh, Joaquin Andahar, not Miguel Andahar. Joaquin Andahar, the pitcher, batting ninth. And um, with that, we're going to get underway. So we'll have to see how we do. There's Joaquin Anahar. He's ready to deal. I'm going to put myself up here. And uh, we're going to swing away with Mookie Wilson. And Mookie Wilson looks like he's going to fly out to center field for the first out. And that is exactly what happens. Ron Gardenhire is up. A young looking, young looking spry Ron Gardenhire. And did he get a hit? Yes, he did. And so John Stearns, the bat, the catcher batting third here. And it looks like he is going to be, uh, no, he walked. All right, so we got the Kong, Dave Kingman. Be nice to see him hit one right here out of the park. In Bush Stadium, you can see this beautiful Bush Stadium that we're playing in today. Um, that looks like a fly out to center for the second out. 
And it is, and George Foster is now the batter. Of course, his photo is from the Big Red Machine. Had some good years with the Reds. This was probably near the end of his career, I'm going to say, and he flies out to center. So we got two guys on, but we did not score. So there's Craig Swan, and he's getting ready to deal to Tommy Herr, the second baseman. And that is going to be, uh, is that a hit? No, it isn't. It's an out. And here's the wizard, Ozzy, Ozzy Smith. And Ozzy Smith's going to ground out to Backman, it looks like. And he does, and Lonnie Smith is up. And Lonnie Smith is going to be out, line out to the shortstop. Wally Backman is leading off for us here in the second inning of a 0-0 game. And he looks like he's going to be out. Rusty Staub, Rustman Staub is up. The red-headed, the carrot top man. And he is going to ground out. Does he? Yes. And Hubie Brooks is up. With two down here in the second inning of a 0-0 game between the Cardinals and the Mets on a beautiful day in St. Louis in Bush Stadium, old Bush Stadium. And George Hendrick will be the batter against Craig Swan. And the 3-1 pitch, he deals it, and it's an out. Keith Hernandez is up. Keith Hernandez, a great defensive first baseman. He could hit, too. Don't get me wrong, but many regard him as one of the best defensive first basemen in uh, the history of baseball. I don't know if I would go quite that far, but Daryl Porter is going to follow him. And, and he got a board. All right, so he's walk, he walked and Willie McGee is up. Let's see if Craig Swan can get us out of this mess. Porter tried to get a lead, but he couldn't. And uh, he walks McGee, and so Oberkfell is up. I remember a more robust-looking Oberkfell. But anyway, he got on. Huh. So Andahar is up. They've got the pitcher up with two down and the base is full, not where you want to be. And that looks like it'll... Man, he might have gotten a hold of one and hit one for a double. He, whoa! All right. Um, I'm going to stop the uh, run. I can't believe Andahar. Andahar, a bases clearing double for Andahar. And Tom Hur is up. And that's going to be a hit that should score. Yeah, I'm going to stop the runner that scores Andahar. And so the uh, Cardinals are up 4 nothing already. And we're going to throw for him, 50% chance of getting him. And we don't. So her steals second with the wizard up. And that's going to be a ground out to short. And it is. So Craig Swan is up uh, after allowing four runs in the second inning. We are going to let him hit, though. I can't go through the bullpen that quickly. I mean, I could because it's only a one-off one game. But Mookie Wilson is the batter. He strikes out. There's two down quickly for Andahar here. And Gardenhire is the batter. Man, this was a bad Mets lineup. And that is it. And we're back in the field with Swan dealing to Lonnie Smith. And that's going to be a ground ball to third base. And George Hendrick is up. And George Hendrick is going to ground out to Kingman. And Keith Hernandez is the batter. And that's going to be a ground out to Kingman, looks like. And it is. And so we are back at the plate. We're batting in the top of the fourth, down 4 nothing, with John Stearns facing 
Joaquin Andahar. And Stern's got a, he put a little electricity into that one, but it's still a fly ball and an out. And so Dave Kingman comes up. And he's out, and Foster is the batter. And Foster is going to fly out. So we are back in the field. We're dealing, Craig Swan is dealing to Daryl Porter to lead it off in the Cardinals fourth. And uh, looks like he'll fly out to Staub. And he does. Willie McGee is up. He is zero for zero. He walked the last time, and this time it looks like he's got a base hit. That looks, no, it's an out. Nice play, I guess, by Kingman. Oberkfell coming up, and he is going to, it looks like, get a base hit. And he does. Andahar is up. Now, Andahar last time doubled. He's one for one with a three-run double. So, he's been doing a lot of damage at the plate. And it looks like he's out, okay? So, Wally Backman here to lead off the fifth for the Mets. Down 4 nothing. We got a base hit out of the Backman man. And uh, Staub is up. Of course, this, you know, being the 82 Mets, this was only four years before their world champion team was put together. And that is going to be a double play, and Hubie Brooks is up. And a lot of these players that were on this 82 Mets team were on that world champion 86 team. Ironically, Hernandez, who is on the Cardinals in this game, was also on that 86 Mets world champion team. Looks like Her might have gotten himself. No, he got out. I thought that would be a base hit for sure, the way it looked. And Ozzie Smith is the batter with one down. And he's, he's on first base. Let's see if he tries to get a lead and steal. He doesn't. Lonnie Smith is going to hit one into the gap. He's going shopping at the gap. Maybe even a home run, but it's probably... No, wait. Is it? No. It was caught at the wall. I thought that was going to be at least a double, but anyway, now Smith tried to get a lead, and we uh, we put the kibosh on that, and then there's going to be a ground ball to Garden higher. Oh no, but it did, he didn't make the play, so there's two on with Hernandez up, and two down, and Hernandez strikes out, so Swan does get out of the inning. Now he's leading off, I am going to pinch hit for him here. So we're going to pinch hit for Swan with, uh, let's see, Andahar's a righty who's a 1R. Uh, we're going we're gonna to pinch hit um, Jorgensen. So Mike Jorgensen coming on to pinch hit. And he was a very good first baseman himself, actually. Looks like he's going to fly out, though. Mookie Wilson up. Of course, Mookie Wilson hit that. Uh, was he the one that hit the ground ball? No, he wasn't. I think he came up after the ground ball that went through Buckner's legs. Um, or no, the game was already tied, and he did hit the ground ball that went through Buckner, Buckner's legs in the World Series. Gardenhire is going to line out. And so... We are going to have to put a replacement pitcher out there. And I'm going to make it um, Charlie Paleo. So we're going to have Charlie Paleo dealing to Swan. We don't have Charlie Paleo's picture, although that's odd because he, I, he was fairly... Uh, he had a presence, let's just say. In the uh, 70s and 80s. Um, McGee is up. Willie McGee. One down. And he's out. And Oberkfell is up. Here in the bottom of the sixth. 
and he strikes out. So John Stern's batting. We're still only down 4 nothing. I mean, that was a big, devastating second inning for the St. Louis Cardinals, but they haven't done anything against us since then. Stearns is out, though, and here's Kingman. And Kingman is going to hit a fly ball to McGee and be out. And George Foster is the batter. And he's out. He strikes out. <clears throat> so, with that, we've got the seventh inning stretch. And we're in the bottom of the seventh. Paleo dealing to Andahar, who, of course, the Cardinals are going to keep out there and let him bat. Because he is shutting us right down. Tommy Hur is the batter. And he looks like he's out, and he is, and Ozzie Smith is up. Two down quickly for Ozzie Smith, the shortstop for the Cardinals. And he's out, and Paleo is doing his job. He's keeping it right where it is. Backman one for two at the plate, and he comes up and probably is going to fly out to Hendrick. Rusty Staub is the batter. This really has been a pretty good game, except for that second inning for the Cardinals. And Hubie Brooks. It's been a well-pitched game, except for that second inning by Craig Swan. Hit up the middle, so Brooks is on, and that brings up Paleo, and we are going to pinch hit. I mean, you know, usually I would give him another inning, but we're down by four, and, uh, you know, we need every little bit we can get. So we're going to... Pinch hit Gary Rasich. And apparently we don't have his photo either. But he gets a base hit. He said, don't have my photo, huh? So we're going to send the lead runner. And now we got runners at the corners with Mookie Wilson at the plate. Let's see if they decide to go get um, Andahar. No, they don't. They're going to stick with him, and that's going to be an out. So we need another pitcher. we got to hope that another pitcher can come on and do well. We're going to go with Ed Lynch. So Ed Lynch is going to come on and pitch, and he's going to face Lonnie Smith first here in the eighth inning. The Cardinals eighth, the bottom of the eighth. And he uh, walks Smith, and so Hendrick is up. And Hendrick is going to hit a ground ball to Brooks. And they get the lead runner at second, but they don't get the tail end of the double play. And so there's a man on with one out, and Keith Hernandez at the plate. And he strikes out. So he's 0 for 4. He got the sombrero today, and Daryl Porter is the batter. And it looks like Hendrick tried to get a lead, and he couldn't. And that's going to be a ground out to Kingman, let's hope. And it is. So Gardenhire is the batter. We need four runs right here. Seems unlikely if you ask me, but... We'll see what happens. Well, there's a base hit, so he started it off right. We've got John Stearns batting next. Got to hope he can get on. And he does get a base hit. And I'm going to definitely hold him because we need runs. And now Andahar is tired. And Kingman, Kong Kingman Kong is a King Kong Kingman. And they are going to bring in Doug Bear to pitch to Kingman. And that's going to be a ground ball, hopefully not into a double play, but it is. And, uh, yeah. And so George Foster is up. And George Foster is going to hit one down the line, maybe? Come on, maybe? Yes? I'm going to hold the runners because we still need four runs. That one run wouldn't do us any good. And Wally Backman is the batter. Let's see if they take Bear out. 
No, they're going to let Baird pitch to him. But he strikes out. And I believe that is it. Yes, it is. So let's go get the box score and see what happened here. Well, we know what happened here. It was the Mets versus the Cardinals of 1982. The Swan went five innings and gave up four runs, but none of them were earned. So there is that. And then uh, Paleo and Lynch came on and were, were very good in relief. We just had that one bad inning where we gave up the four runs, and that was the difference here from St. Louis as the 1982 Cardinals have defeated the 1982 Mets by the score of 4 nothing. That's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.